In this example, we're going to look at the DBAN plugin in the Sapphire plugins package. We're going to take a look at it inside of Nuke, uh, but these will also work inside of other OFX applications such as Toxic, Fusion, and Assimilate Scratch. The DBAN plugin does a really good job of getting rid of banded areas of an image by doing a blur and a pixel diffusion, but not affecting any of the source areas or source edges of the image that you would want to be affected. I'm just going to zoom in here to show you there's quite a bit of severe banding going on here. And with the D-band plugin, we can actually do a pretty good job of, of taking care of this. Uh, what I'm going to do first is just apply a Sapphire plugin. So I'm going to go to my effect palette here and go to Sapphire Blur and Sharpen and apply D-band. So I need to uh, see it's automatically connected here, nice, nice and easy. Um, so what I can first start to do is uh, set the region of interest uh, to be diff blurred and diffused. So what I can do now is go to my result option and switch that to show my edges. So when I do that, zoom back out, you can see these are all the edges that the plugin is finding. Anything in white here is where it finds an edge. Uh, to go ahead and sort of suppress those edges, you can turn up your edge threshold. And the edge threshold is right here. And I'm going to start to dial that up ever so slightly. And you can see the plugin is pulling away those edges, but it's only pulling away the edges where the banding is. It's not affecting any of the source edges. And I start to turn this up and up and up. You'll see, again, only the source edges are, uh, are maintaining uh, preservation while all of the other banded edges are going away. So I'm going to turn up a little bit more. So we pulled away most of our banding. And you still have a little bit more banding here. So I'm just going to turn the amount up to 12, maybe 14, 13, 14. 15, and try 16. So there you go, you've gotten rid of most of the banded areas. of uh, Maybe I'll turn up actually a little bit more to 18, and you've gotten rid of all the banded areas. But again, you can see um, most of the source edges are intact. So once we've done that, we're gonna switch our show back to our results, and the plugin hasn't done a whole lot yet, but the first thing you've done is, again, as I mentioned before, define the region of interest for the blurring and the pixel diffusion to happen. So once I've done that by showing my edges and turning up my edge threshold, I can start adding some pre-blur, and that's the initial layer of blur that's going to go on top of everything here. So I've got my pre-blur, and I'm going to just go ahead and start to turn that up to do a pixel blur, or a, uh, sorry, uh, an image blur, and just smooth out those areas where the banding is. So I'm going to start to do that a little bit, and once I've done that, I can go back to my um, uh, diffuse radius, which is my pixel diffusion, start to turn that up, and it's already got a, a value of 12, so you may not need to turn up too high. What I'm actually going to do is just turn it really high, just so you can see here how it's actually doing a pixel diffusion. And you can see there's quite a bit of pixel diffusion going on, probably too much, but just again, so you can see it's only happening where the areas of the banding is. It's not affecting the source edges at all. Nevertheless, I'm going to take this back down here, and then we can work by adding a layer of post blur on top of that. So post blur is the final layer of blur that goes on top of everything else, and to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and start cranking up the value. And again, further smoothing out the image. So you can see pretty quickly here, that's my original source with a pretty heavy duty banding. And we'll show you the results by reconnecting the node here. And take a look at my uh, results. So most of the banding is gone while the edges and the text stays intact. Uh, so it's a very simple plugin, not a lot of controls. You just set your edges and then uh, turn up your edge threshold, then add some pre blur, diffuse radius, and post blur. And very quickly, you've eliminated uh, severe banding in an image.